We want to go back out now to CBS 17's Michael Highland as we're hearing for the first time from State Representative Trisha Cotham. And Michael, I know we were talking a little bit ago. This is something that obviously is not sitting well with the state Democratic Party. Absolutely. Some leading Democrats have actually called on her to resign about this decision to switch parties and become a Republican. She talked about this decision at length this morning, saying that she's been bullied by Democrats in the weeks and months leading up to this, even being labeled a traitor, and said that her children have been threatened as well. She stood this morning alongside several of the Republican leaders in the General Assembly talking about how she got to this point. She's from Mecklenburg County and served several years in the legislature, left for a period of time, and just returned in January after being elected last year as a Democrat by a wide margin, but she described a very different environment than what she experienced before, saying she was villainized for having free thought. She described malicious, vicious rumors being spread about her as well, and that she was cast aside for not doing exactly what Democrats wanted her to do. It became very clear to me early on in January that you better vote in line with everything Governor Cooper tells you to do from signing on to bills, to he wanted to pick your seat on the House floor, to your committee requests, all of this sense of control. I will not be controlled by anyone. Representative Cotham has supported abortion rights, even speaking about her own personal experience with that on the House floor and LGBTQ rights. But she wouldn't say explicitly what this party switch means for how she'll vote on those key issues, other than to say she is still the same person and that she will follow her conscience. The House Democratic leader, Representative Robert Reeves, called on her to resign yesterday. Other Democrats have described this decision as a betrayal. We're going to hear from Democrats here outside of their offices in just a few minutes, and we're going to have more on what they are having to say in response to Representative Cotham this morning coming up new at four. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News. It'll be interesting to hear the response to this. From both sides, yeah. it's a very interesting situation. Michael, thank you.